Ah, what I like about my new van is I can get to where I'm going to go for my walk and my exploration, have a cup of coffee before I start, sort out my microphone which I thread up inside my jumper here, make sure that the battery and the media is all in my camera, get myself ready and into a nice relaxed mood, change my boots quite easily, I can be in out of the rain or as today it's nice and sunshine or they're a bit windy and then I can get cracking and that's what I'm going to do today. Oh, of course also I have a loo here just in case I need to just, you know, empty the bladder before we head off. Luckily I've already done that. Right, I better tell you where I am today. I'm Richard Vobes, the Bald Explorer, and I'm in Amberley, and I'm climbing up what I think is called Amberley Mount. So the first thing I've got to do is cross this road, which isn't terribly busy. I'm parking my van down there on the route down to Amberley in West Sussex, right at the foot of the north slope of the South Downs. Now, it's a bit windy, and it's a little cold, so I've got my jacket on and my nice warm woolly jumper. And the first bar, part of this journey is to clamber up, or just stroll really, up this rather simple little narrow lane. It's a quiet little tarmacked lane that takes me up a portion of the way. Now I could have, I think, brought the van up here and parked somewhere, but I wasn't quite sure if there was any parking available. I'm still just getting used to the size of my van and how easy it is to park it on the edge of roads, you know, not normal domestic roads. So I thought I need the exercise. I don't mind the climb and I'd get up, up this. And we're widening already. We had all the trees and things at the top of this great dip that the road went through. But behind me, you just about see uh, the view. And I'm hoping from up here on the downs, we'll get a few views, though it may be quite windy up there. South Downs Way. That's right. I remember looking at the map this morning that I follow the South Downs Way for a little part and then I'll get onto another route which will take me further on to the top. So I finished with this road and actually I discovered there is a, another little van parked back there and you can clearly get up from two different ways onto this and I could have could have parked or even here would have been quite fine. I'm going to leave the road here but actually it's quite nice just to to do the whole hill and not cheat at all. So I'm going to leave the road here and clamber up the flinty pathway here, flint and chalk, which will start to take me up to the top of the downs on this particular stretch. And I've not done this before so I'm quite eager to see how this does. Just clambering up the hill, even on a cold day, makes you aware of how easy it is to overdress. When the sun is shining, as it is now in November, as I record this, the heat from the sun is still quite powerful. And although I've put this tweedy jacket on, I am now overly warm. But it is a cold wind, so I'm hoping that when I get into the open, I will actually feel justified in putting this on. All right, let's go through this. It's great to see the berries on the hawthorn. I don't know whether we're going to have a, a severe winter this year. We had a pretty mild one last year, but it's great that there's food for 
nature for wildlife and we've had an abundance of stuff so that's good to see here we've got an an ash tree coming you can tell it's an ash tree by the the u shape of the the branches coming off and away from the road now which is rather pleasant and we start to see the green of the luscious downs I'm not strictly doing at the moment on this video in the footsteps of Walter Wilkinson which is a series I've been doing where I've been following the puppeteer a hundred years ago where he took his barrow with his Punch and Judy booth on but he does visit Amberley and he does come I believe up onto the downs he very much enjoyed the open space the the countryside and he wanted to get away from the motor car so it's pretty much the sort of views here that he would have seen it's not changed in all those years fortunately this is a a nice little pathway that we're walking on and you'll notice it has these barbed wire fences either side forcing me to walk on this path as opposed to just freely across the downs and I have mentioned this a few times before in other videos but a hundred years ago this was much open it's really since the Second World War that sections of the downs have been cordoned off and that we are hemmed in to specific spaces we think that we've got the freedom of the downs and the right to roam but actually we are given these very narrow parameters because ultimately people have claimed this land and are farming this land they don't want people walking over it and I understand that it's just a bit of a shame that unlike Walter we could have just meandered anywhere it is worth when you're walking stopping from time to time and actually looking at the view we are in such rushed lives these days I think people even when they get out for a walk forget to stop and look and just be at peace with the world <laughs> Ahead of me is what's known as Ambly Mount which is one of the things I wanted to climb up I've actually it was a request somebody suggested I do this which was very nice of them I I haven't done it and if I carry on I'm heading east if I carry on eastwards I will go past Rackham and as you get to the top the area like a lot of the South Downs here is peppered with the tumuli and um, I don't know if I'll see any particularly here but when you get to Rackham there's some examples I'm not going that far because I'm actually going to turn I think right and head south a little bit the wind is picking up a little as I suspected it would but it's not as it's not as uh, forceful as I thought it might be so I'm hoping it's not affecting the microphone um, along here I was just looking actually there's lots of dips and things there's a dip back there great uh, trench which is just in front of the farm there and I was wondering if that was an old chalk pit one would have to look at the at the maps the old OS maps just to see but also you'll often find earthworks from the well from the Neolithic times really behind me right down there in the dip we have Amberley Castle 
which was actually a, a bishop's palace not so much a, a castle like a, a Norman castle and that's a pheasant taking off surprised by my oration right I'm going to concentrate on clambering up the hill Looks like there's a, a path, another different pathway down to the village, down there. We've got a good view of Ambly Brooks in the distance down there. They're slightly flooded, as you would imagine. We've just had a whole load of rain. Now, if I've got this right, this uh, part of the South Downs should be a turning on the right. If I've misread the map and misjudged it often when i'm filming i'm busy filming thinking of the various bits that i want to talk about or observing and enjoying the landscape i often uh, misread the map or don't spend as much time studying the map as perhaps i should it won't mar my walk because this is just a beautiful ridge to walk along I'm not so enamoured with the South Downs Way itself. I think because in recent times it's been, um, what am I trying to say? It's, you don't get to see a huge amount of beautiful stuff. Certain stretches of it take you through a lot of um, prairie farming and that's not quite so enjoyable. Here, however, when you're right on the ridge and you can look north, I think it's beautiful, absolutely. There are some lumps here. I think this is some tumuli right in front of me. You can tell that because it's a circular mound and very often it has a dip in the middle. Now they weren't designed like that, that's where they've been plundered and that's not so good. Now, if this is where I think it is, these could be the Rackham uh, tumuli, the urn field, which is, you can't get into. I think they found a whole load of urns. So it may be that I've actually gone a little too far. So I'm going now going to consult the map and decide um, which way I'm going to go. Because I, I was aiming to go that way a little. But we'll see. I'll have a look at the map and report back. <laughs> 